Well, let's talk a little weather. And we're going to take you up to, I think, Snoqualmie Pass. Look at that beautiful shot. If you're uh, headed over there this weekend, headed over the pass, conditions looking pretty good, at least today and tomorrow. Let's get to uh, Rebecca Stevenson. The fact that we've been talking about the past kind of makes me a little <laughs> nervous. It's like it's definitely fall. Yeah. We'll start doing that. You know, it does look like as we get towards uh, this upcoming Tuesday, we could get a snow level down to 5,000 feet. Wow. So that's, you know, we're starting to get to the high, next to the high passes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's good that you're worried. It's inevitable. <laughs> yes, it's going to happen eventually. And we're going to get to a little bit more sunshine before we get to a stormy week next week. You can see Mount Rainier Summit view. Just It's just such a stunning shot because the sky is so blue and that bright white of the snow on the glacier and the dark green of the of the trees. It's just a gorgeous big picture. I like to show it just about every time. Everett Painfield, you've got sunshine, but I want you to note that these high clouds that are passing by the horizon, we've been seeing these pass through this evening and we're going to probably see those thick clouds continue on to move out. So even if you see some high clouds this evening, just know those are moving out tonight and our temperatures will still cool down to the upper 40s in spots that are on the cooler side. As we go to our Shorecrest High School shoreline cam, you can see all the blue skies and the trees moving a little bit with the soft breeze. Winds are going to become lighter as we get towards late tonight. Right now we've got northerly winds about seven miles an hour for downtown Seattle and the temperatures hitting 77 in Woodenville, 73 for Olympia, 84. You are seeing that correctly. That is an 84 degrees for Aberdeen out on the coast. A nice offshore wind plus a warmer air mass coming up from Oregon. It all came together for some toasty warm temperatures today, even getting to 79 degrees for Darrington and 81 for Gold Bar. So moving on from temperatures, looking what's happening. High pressure has kept us so dry today and it's moving a little bit off to the east as we get through tomorrow. So we've got some high clouds coming in right behind it, but ultimately we're waiting for the Sunday weather system that'll bring in clouds and rainfall to the north coast early in the morning and slowly it will make its way across all of western Washington later in the day on Sunday. So Sunday's the day it really changes up for all of us. Now tonight we're going to have mostly clear skies. Temperatures will drop into the upper 40s to mid 50s. The temperatures in the upper 40s are going to be around the South Sound, parts of the Strait and also around Hood Canal. And looking at the wind tonight, you can see how it'll be out of the north, about 10 miles an hour, becoming lighter overnight. And our sunrise, 701 in the morning tomorrow. So temperatures will end up close to 70 again for Blaine and for that matter, 72 for Stanwood around the islands and near the water in the Strait, mainly upper 60s here around Seattle. We'll get back to the mid 70s, expecting 76 degrees, but closer to 80 for Yelm and Puyallup and Olympia all coming up into the upper 70s could actually hit 80. We do expect it for Chehalis down to Kelso and the temperatures, the coast will clear, will slowly clear and uh, We'll see some sun, but it'll be cooler on the beaches tomorrow, mid 80s east of the Cascades. So tomorrow, last day of sunshine, there could be a little patchy fog to start the morning. Otherwise, it is Sunday that the rain comes back and then Monday we will have some more rainfall increase in the morning and change over to showers in the afternoon. Sunday night into Monday morning may be a little bit breezy to windy at times, but the wind will be strongest along the coastline and north of Everett. Then our Tuesday, very stormy looking Tuesday. In fact, that could start out Monday night with the showers being bringing small hail or a chance of a lightning strike. Wednesday is our break briefly before we get back to another storm on Thursday through Friday that will bring some more soggy weather our way. Apart from Saturday, it, it really is looking like fall at this point. 